Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm so excited to be bringing you another wig from Amour by René of Paris called Reed. Now, in the last video I reviewed Brandy and Brandy is a gorgeous wig by Amour, a really pretty, long, lustrous style and I talked about how I got her from a seller on eBay called Fair Hair and I was actually talking in that video about maybe giving her a wash and revitalised her a little bit and I actually squirted her with a little bit of Febreze and it took the perfumey smell out. If you want to know what I'm talking about, go and watch the review video for Brandy. But she is good to go and I love her. I've sewn wig clips in her now and she's ready. And today I'm excited to bring you the gorgeous reed wig from Amour by René of Paris in Melted Marshmallow. Now Melted Marshmallow is one of my favourite blondes. It's a rooted blonde. It's just stunning i love it i'm really into this color and i saw this wig on fair hair on ebay and i thought i've got to snap that up because this was new with the tags at a reduced price so i knew i wanted it now with this wig it's just beautiful so i'm going to show it to you but again i just want to give that seller on ebay a shout out fair hair you know and you might be thinking that's too good to be true they, they've got their own shop and stuff. So, you know, it's just really good. You know, I haven't had any problems. This is the second wig I've had from there and I'm happy. So let's review the wig. It's more about the wig than anything else. So read by more. I think you're going to love this one. And what I've decided to do as well, and I'm going to document this in a coming video, because now I'm buying wigs with boxes, you know, before I was just getting Godiva secret wigs and they come in a bag. So, you know, you can have more space because they don't take up as much room. Obviously with boxes, you're stacking them up so they take up more room. So what I've decided to do is to chuck all my boxes away and I've bought some of these which are gallon style freezer bags. So they're very big and I got these from Amazon and... I'm going to put all of my boxed wigs into bags, separate bags. So I've got one ready here for Reed. So I've put on Reed and Melted Marshmallow from Memoir of René of Paris. So that's the plan. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it when I'm doing it. Because, you know, how I'm going to, where I'm going to put the bags and what I'm going to do. So I'm excited about that. But this is the box it's coming. And you can see you've got Reed and Melted Marshmallow there. So... That's the box now to the wig. Now, I've sewn wig clips into this before I've even really done anything to it because I've tried it on once just to make sure it's okay. And I just tried it on and fell in love and I thought, oh my goodness me. You know, the next time I'm going to be putting this wig on will be when I review it with you guys. So I've sewn in three wig clips. Now, the only reason is because I know I'm going to be getting a lot of wear out of this. So I've sewn three in just because it's a little bit of a longer style and to give you that added security. So I've put two wig clips at the front and one at the back. Now, this wig is a mono top, so it fits very flat. It's also got that scalp effect and you can part this wig any way you want to. And I've just been a little bit careful when I was sewing in the, the wig clips because obviously it's gone into monofilament and it is a little bit more delicate. So when you're sewing wig clips in, just be a bit more delicate with it, you know, take your time. And it's got this lace front as well, which is really nice. And you've got this gorgeous back, you know, it's kind of, is it a closed cap they call this? Closed cap, not open wefted, so it's a closed cap. But it feels so nice. And it's got Velcro adapters. So it's got the Velcro, Velcro adjusters, Velcro, Velcro adjusters, so you can make the wig tighter or looser to suit your own needs. So this one's quite, you know, I'm just going to loosen it slightly there. And then obviously, you know, we can adjust it as we need to. I should make it a little bit, a little bit tighter than that. Because I've got a 21 inch head. So this is an average cap size. And it's just lovely. So that's the cap. And then let's look at the wig. So look at the colour first of all. Melted marshmallow. I love it. I love the darkness, the deepness of the root. And then now it goes into this gorgeous blonde with kind of these platinum tips, which is really nice. So... Just a gorgeous, gorgeous blonde. And it's, a, it's kind of a, a medium length wig, but it's like this kind of straight style. It's kind of like, again, that bed hair look. So she's gorgeous. 
gorgeous so let's get her on and have a look so i've just prepped my hair ready for this wig i've just pushed it all back because my hair is growing now you know and it's getting a little bit unsightly as you know it's not quite at that stage where i can put it into a full pony yet so i've put it into just to get all of my hair back and i'm looking forward to when it's you know i can put it all back and i haven't got to worry about it anymore because you know as much as i've loved growing my hair back it has been a little bit of a challenge with these bits sticking out and you know all the bits sticking out but it's getting there again now so i'm going to clip her in i'm just going to clip the top two and i've only sewn the back one in you know for added security i didn't need to do that that's just something i've done two perhaps even one wig clip would have been okay in this but i'm going to get my thumbs at the back where the label is and then i'm going to put the front of the wig about there i'm going to even the tabs and then pull it up to my hairline so you can see the more label there as well so let's get her on let's get her on so and you know with a mono top as well your wig when you're putting it on it will move up a bit more by itself you know it's got it's it's a bit lighter i would say you know than a machine tease wig because they tend to stay down and you have to really lift it up to your forehead so first of all before i do anything to it you know, look at the lace front, how natural it is with that Rusi. You know, a lot of people moan about Rene of Paris lace fronts and say the knotting's not very good. And, you know, and I really do like them. So I think it's just personal preference. So I'm just going to bring it up to my natural hairline, which is about there. And I'm going to clip her in. Now, this wig reminds me a little bit of Rachel from Godiva Secret Wigs. You know, for me, the hair kind of feels very similar and the style is very similar. Now, obviously, I would not go out with it like this. I need to just alter the, the parting and sort it out. But I just wanted to, first of all, show you the gorgeousness of this wig. So I'm just going to use my fingers to just play with her and get her into style. But I just fell in love with this wig straight away. You know, I saw it on the website on eBay and I thought, got her have that wig. But she's so much like Rachel, in my opinion. She really does remind me of her, you know. And obviously, this is a great colour. I love this colour. So you can part this wig, as you can see, anywhere you want to. You know, anywhere you want to. I may just have to play around a little bit with heat from my hands. Coaxing it into style. I'm not actually sure if this wig is heat resistant. Remember, you know, I'm not like a really amazing reviewer. You know, this is more... I'm just a daily wig wearer and I love wearing my wigs. So I've no idea if you can put heat on this, but I mean, what I do is, you know, I do put, if I want something to stay into style, I will use a little bit of either cold air through the hairdryer or I'll put it on the lowest setting and just make sure it's quite far away. And, you know, it doesn't damage it, you know, but it's obviously you shouldn't put heat on wigs if they're not heat resistant, but it's obviously up to you. So just playing with it a little bit, getting it into style. You can see this side's gone over straight away into what I want it to do. So it's got this longer side bank here. So really nice if you want to put it up, you know, or back. And then you've got that little piece framing around the face, which is so pretty. And this bit's just going to take a little bit longer, you know, to just play with a little bit. Because it's been parted there. And I'm parting it somewhere different, which is here. Look how natural it is. You know, the, the roots and everything as well. And just take a little bit of time coaxing it into style. Could get your, your comb on this, you know, and back comb it so it stays into style. You know, I just need another comb on that. And just see what I've got in my, in my drawer. I've got my brush. You know, perhaps do that. You know, see how it's staying in place a little bit there. That's all it needs. So gorgeous wig already i mean i just love it and you know i love wearing blondes with blue you know if i wear a blue top or a blue dress and i put a blonde wig on it just feels really nice so i'm absolutely in love with this wig honestly i've got so much to say about fair hair on ebay i really think they're amazing and you know the fact that i got this wig and the thing is if i hadn't seen it on there you know i would never have got this wig because i didn't even know this wig existed and the thing is you know when you're looking on seller site sometimes like you know you see this wig maybe on on a normal um website like you know on like on valentine's wigs or simply wigs or you know you're looking on something the pictures sometimes don't do the wig justice in my opinion you know it looks like a totally different wig and the fact that he came up with fair hair 
and they put it on a mannequin and shown all the different angles of this wig, I thought, I've got to have that wig. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. So for me, I just need to get this little bit into style. And obviously, as you can see, you know, it's brand new out of the box. So obviously, it's going to take, if you want it party somewhere else, just a little bit of time to get it right. I'm just going to put it behind my ear. So it'll go behind my ear. There we go. Just to get her out of the way so I can just show you properly the colour and, you know, the amazingness of this wig. So I'm going to show you in the mirror first and I'm going to do a turn. So look at this. Really pretty wig. Love it. Okay, the reason why my ear's sticking out a little bit there is because I've just put that little piece behind my ear. And this side. Gorgeous. Isn't this colour melted marshmallow something special? I really do like it. It's probably, as I said, one of my favourite colours. It really is. Gorgeous. Look at this. If I take that little piece out there. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Gorgeous wig. I love the movement of her. I love everything. The cap feels very comfortable. It feels very nice on me. You know, even the fact that I've sewn wig clips in as well. Feels nice. Gorgeous. So this is where I'm going to part. I suppose it's trying to part here. You know, that's what it's trying to do. You can see how easy it's gone over there. You know, so you can easily, if you don't like it parted, where I have it parted, you can easily part it there. So you can see I've even lifted it up. And because it's got that lace front, you know, it looks very natural. So you could put it in a clip there, you know, and have it like that. That's pretty as well. But I personally don't like it like that. So, you know, for me... I mean, you can use your, your brush or your comb and just bring it all forward. Let's see if we can part it anywhere else. So as you can part this wherever you want because it's a mono, you're just going to have to train the hair a little bit because it's been sitting in a certain place. So it depends where you want it, where you want it. I quite like where I got it before. So if I have a look, if I get my comb and I kind of run it down a little bit. So it's quite hard sometimes doing it in the camera. You know, you need to do it in a mirror. Yeah, it's way off. I've got the parting way off there. So I'm just going to part it like this. And, you know, this is a raw review. You know, we're very honest here on Wigs with Liz. You know, I tell you the truth. It's not like I jump on and say, oh, my goodness, look at this amazing wig. You know, if it's got problems, I'm going to tell you what the problems are. And it's not a problem. It's just the fact that, you know, you just have to be a little bit patient with your wigs. You know, you have to be a little bit patient instead of sometimes, you know, they go on beautiful and we expect every wig to be like that. And it doesn't work like that, you know. So we have to just take a moment to play and, you know, adjust and get it into style. So is that where I want to part it? She looks so natural with this mono. Look at that for, you know, how the parting looks so realistic there. Super realistic, the parting, because... You know, it's the monofilament. I love monofilament, but I also love machine teased. I love both. You know, so sometimes I'll wear a mono and I'll think, yeah, I wish this was machine teased. But I really do like both. So you can see how I'm just, it's sitting more flat now. So I'm just taking a little bit of time. I'm using my brush to back comb it. And this is a little tip I picked up from Rochelle on Godiva Secret Wigs. You know, because on her videos when she talks about how you coax the hair into style. You know, if you haven't got time to maybe put heat on it or, you know, if it's not heat resistant or if you don't want to mess around doing that, you know, you just back comb it into style and then play with it like this because it sets the hair, you know, it, it, because the hair is that really versatile hair that remembers, you know, it's very clever hair. So just back combing a little bit, you know, look, it's going into style now because this is, you know, where I want it. I was going to say probably where I want it, but I definitely do like it parted like this. But I know I'm going to get so much wear out of this wig. Because I just love it. I love the colour. And I'm so into this melted marshmallow. And I know it's because, you know, I've never really been blonde in my life. You know, during my own life, obviously, you know, I've always been a red or a brunette. Or, you know, it's always been the darker colours. Whereas now I'm like, oh my goodness me, I can wear a blonde and rock this wig and pull it off. And I'm just loving the, the rooted blondes. But this one, you know, I'm trying all the blondes at the moment and I've got many, many more to come. I'm preferring the melted marshmallow. And 
you know, I was asked to do as well um, a review of the blondes and put all the blondes side by side a little, little bit like I did with the reds not long ago. And I will do that when I've reviewed a few more because I have got some more blondes coming as well. But I really am liking this colour. So let me know what you think of this in the playlist section. See how it's gone now into style. So I could easily go out with it like this now. And you saw what it was like at the beginning. And how it is now. So if you get your wig and you're thinking, why isn't the hair doing what I want it to do? Don't give up and panic. Use a brush. I tried to use my comb. It hasn't got the, the bit that I needed. You know, the kind of boom that I needed to do it. Whereas this it got more sturdiness. So let's have another look then. So let's have another look in the mirror. Oh yeah, much better now. Much better now. This is how I'll definitely wear it like this. Really, really pretty, gorgeous. So let's have a look from the side. Honestly, this is probably one of my favourite wigs I've bought in a while. I just really love it. It's so nice and it feels so nice on as well. And the hair just feels so nice. And, you know, if I just back comb this a little bit as well, you know, and then just run your fingers through it and it just gets it into style. Well, this side doesn't need much work at all. You know, it's more this side, which is, is worth that. So she's perfect and ready to wear. And, you know, this wig as well, perfect. You can tell it's brand new. There's nobody's tried this on. You know, it smells like it would smell if it came from, you know, Valentine's wigs or somewhere else. Whereas with Brandy, she just got that little bit of perfume smell. So I think just someone's tried that on doesn't bother me at all you know so I've just squirted that with a little bit of Febreze and it's took that smell off and gorgeous I spoke about that earlier in the year you know putting Febreze on on your wig because I got that tip and trick off Taz from Taz's wig closet she was like stop washing your wigs and use something else instead because you know if you wash your wig and then you go out in it and obviously there's elements going on and you get home and you're thinking, why does my wig smell weird? Because I've only just washed it. It's because it's absorbed things. So obviously using something like Febreze, if it gets it off fabric and clothes, it's going to get it off your wig. Just make sure you don't hold it too close. But I've really found that's work for me. So that's been a real godsend for me. And I'm so grateful I got that tip. But yeah, Reed in Melted Marshmallow from Amour of Rene of Paris. Absolutely stunning. 10 out of 10. Love this wig. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.